Oxidation reduction. What do these terms really mean? The oxidation state of a monoatomic ion, mono meaning one, atomic meaning, well, atom, is essentially the charge that the ion has. For example, if we have calcium 2 plus, it has an oxidation state of 2, positive 2. While chlorine, which is Cl minus, typically has an oxidation state of 1 minus, negative 1. Now there are some general rules to follow with oxidation states. The cation always comes first when you are labeling something. So if we have NaH, the sodium will have the plus one charge, the hydrogen will have the minus one charge. All the oxidation states of the individual elements must add up to the oxidation state of the polyatomic ion. For example, if we have H3O plus, and we know that H is plus one, and since there's three of them, we have three plus, the oxygen must therefore be two minus in order for the overall charge to be plus one. Another general rule is that hydrogen is almost always plus one and oxygen is almost always minus two. Another way to think of oxidation state is the number of electrons that this compound has either gotten rid of or gained in order to fill up its shells. This full shell of electrons is typically found in the noble gas phase. In other words, elements in the first group normally have an extra electron. They're going to want to give that electron away, and when you take away that negative charge, you will have a positively charged compound. Conversely, the compounds in group 7 normally need one more electron to get to a noble state configuration. So what they're going to do is borrow an electron to be more stable. That extra electron has a negative charge and gives chlorine, fluorine, and iodine ions a charge of negative one. Elements in group seven will always have a minus one charge unless there is an element of higher electronegativity. Remember, electronegativity goes up as you go to the right and up. In group two, all of our compounds will have a plus two charge. Let's take a look at beryllium. It has two extra electrons that keep it from looking like helium. Therefore, it's gonna to wanna to get rid of those two electrons. The same goes for magnesium, calcium, and so on. We won't be doing any chemistry in this lab. We'll just be doing some balancing. So we'll see you next time. Hazardous waste container. <laughs>